What's up you guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today's episode we'll be doing a valve cover gasket, but really quick, I wanted to take the body kit off of the Miata and start drilling the holes in another video coming up. So I'm really excited to get this body kit mounted. Oh, I've been talking about it for like three months. I've been stressing over it for like four months. And um, I'm excited that this day is coming really, really soon. But first things first, we gotta address and finish the job that we did last week. So, you know, this video is gonna be real simple. If you click this video because you're gonna do a valve cover gasket of your own on your Miata, dude, congratulations. I'm so happy, proud of you for picking up the wrench and doing this thing on your own. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, comment down below. Let me know where you're at, what you're doing. I'm super excited to hear from you. So, I'm Jocomoto. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get into this video. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be working on getting the valve cover gasket off of the, well, actually, I already got it off, in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, you wanna check it out, make sure to go. Um, I can't, I don't know how to do links yet, so you're gonna to have to go to my page, go into my videos, and just go to the last one, but um, I replaced the cam seals on the Miata, and um, I had this, I had to come up with a way to lock the cam. Uh, I replaced the seals, put the cam back on and use zip ties to hold the cams tight and um, cross your fingers that this Miata is still timed because honestly I am no mechanic <clears throat> and if this Miata can't hold an idle I'm pretty sure I messed it up but either way we're gonna go ahead and get into this video today we'll be doing the valve cover gasket so let's just dive into that I got the valve cover gasket right here but before I get into this video, let me just do one quick drop. I am proud to announce that in 2020 this year, we have the support of a company called The Glove Shop. Pick that out. The Glove Shop. They sent us this swag box full of gloves. Super excited to have The Glove Shop, a supporter of this channel. Um, just in general, like the fact that we have someone supporting us is like absolutely crazy. This here is the Ironworks. Uh, eight mil gloves for automotive and uh, you know just to protect your hands from chemicals and things like that so we're gonna go ahead and rock these in the channel as well as I have some black nitrile for maybe some light work that we're gonna do but if we're gonna get down and dirty we might as well wear the best of the best so The sound of this rubber is hilarious. All right, let's get into it. So, today's video, working on the car. Here I have the old valve cover, or I have the valve cover here. I didn't take this off, didn't bother to. Let's do it right now. I think I broke it. Anyway, so we have the valve cover here. If you clicked on this video because you're doing a valve cover job yourself, proud of you fam, proud of you. Welcome to the channel. So. Let's just go ahead. I really wanted to do like a really satisfying way to peel this off, but I think I'm just gonna do it in front of the camera here. And in all honesty, this valve cover is still really good. So So here's your valve cover gasket. Sexy. And right here we have our new gasket. Genuine Mazda parts. From Japan, you know how we do it here at the channel. So, I'm gonna go ahead and slap this guy in. Use a little bit of liquid gasket. Brand new valve cover gasket. Going in the valve cover. So, I'll put the valve cover on the car because I don't really have a good spot to work on it. But we got a bunch of this liquid seal, liquid gasket that we don't want in the way. So I'm gonna make sure you got a clean surface. 
Looks like this RVT oil, this gasket stuff, it's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start lining up the gasket into the valve cover. And we'll be putting the we'll be putting the RVT on the head itself instead of on the gasket. Once we mate the valve cover to the head, everything should seal good and stop that leak that we've been dealing with. And we'll be one step closer to being roadworthy, fam. Everything is properly seated in. Cool. What I'm gonna wanna do is open up this high temp silicone gasket right here and be putting this onto the corners of the block. So if I could just open this with one hand. Ta-da! Sweet. I've never used this stuff before, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be very interesting. All right, so now the valve cover gasket that I just took off had black Seal Pro. And I've seen people use this Seal Pro for um, in between the uh, cat. So if I'm not supposed to use this, you guys, please comment down below. I'm serious. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing this because I want to drive my car and uh, I'm tired of waiting on, you know, things like money and um, shops and things like that so I started doing this stuff on my own so if this is not the right sealant you guys please hit me up because I'm fully committed to getting this car back on the road and and uh, Something like this, that's like just, you know, some liquid gasket, that's not a big deal. Uh, this is something that I could just undo if I really mess this up. But if you guys see me messing up, please hit me in the comments below, dude. Seriously, I take criticism really well. I'm very fortunate to have good friends that are gonna tell me straight up their opinion okay so I'm not gonna be offended you guys if you guys have something to say please say it let's have a conversation I'm cool with it all right so this is what I did red sealant on all of the corners oh, I got it on my cam there I'll have to get that off. Red sealant, uh, red liquid gasket on the corners of the head. Anywhere where the gasket has to go and crescent over something, when it goes like this and goes like a half pipe, goes up something, there's a chance of it not making a good seal in the corner. So that's why you're doing this uh, like liquid gasket stuff. So yeah. All right, let's get the head down. So don't make the mistake I did way back in the day. Um, when I started working on my Miata for the first time, this is the first time I realized I had no idea what I was doing. I took off my valve cover, realized I had made a mistake, tried to put the valve cover back on, and didn't know there was a way to tighten down the bolts in a pattern that would help bring the valve cover down without torquing anything. If you don't know what torquing a bolt means, it means that you tighten the valve cover here and then you tighten the valve cover here and it'll bow the metal a little bit if you tried to tighten this one down it would just no longer get it would no longer be able to feed itself downward and then you try to over tighten it and it'll torque and snap the bolt right off and that's what i did on my first it was actually this block but i got the bolt out but i went to tighten it i tightened all of the outside and then i came back in 
to tighten these. And on this one here, I was tightening it and it just went and it snapped off. So don't make that same mistake. Um, when you're tightening a valve cover like this one here or anything rather, um, you wanna start in the centers and work your way outward. So start here on one, go this to two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then back to 12 and 13 or 12 and 13. But um, what I did was started here, went here, here, went to the insides of these guys and then went outward and then continued that motion. Um, again, I'm not a mechanic, but I did get to tighten this thing down pretty tight. I don't want to break anything. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I think that's it for the valve cover. I just need to get this guy put on. I need to put the air duct back in, reclamp this radiator hose to the water, or this is the thermostat here, and the water neck or whatever you call it. Probably need to refill my radiator, but then we can start this guy up and see if we got this oil leak addressed. Cross your fingers. All right, I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> Everything appears to be in order here. So we got the water pump or the thermostat. Oh, we got the thermostat. I still need to tighten this thing. We got the thermostat <clears throat> plugged back in. We got the air, like cross air thing plugged back in. Valve cover is bolted down. All these sensors are back on. Coil pack screwed back on and all we gotta do now is start back up tomorrow is start up the engine so all we have to do now is start the engine um <clears throat> let's see today is sunday it's getting pretty late and uh i think i'm gonna call it here pick up back tomorrow so i'll see you guys in a little bit let's just do a little fade out and just like that we are back to the second day of the channel. That's crazy, right? The magic of YouTube. <clears throat> but I have the key here. We're going to go ahead and start the Miata and uh, see if we fix the leak. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just start the car up. Make sure we got everything we need here. So, oh, Big guy, little car. Got power. Yep. Oh no, I fucked the timing. Ah! Always something. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely messed the timing up and I hope I didn't like hurt anything, so. All right, you guys, well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is the end of the video, I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna have to take the timing back to top dead center. I really didn't want to do that, but it is what it is. It's a learning experience, so. What an upset. What a bummer. Maybe I have time to fix this. I don't know. But if it if this is the end of the video, you guys, thank you for coming. Um, <clears throat> I guess the next video is putting the Miata back to top dead center and hoping I didn't mess anything up, so. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you for coming. I'm Jocomoto. And until next time, I'll catch you in the corners. Peace.